<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jim, and this is Ricky. And today we're going to show you how to find profitable niche keywords um, for your website. Um, first thing is stop buying keyword tools. You just got to stop. Um, I've tried a bunch of them. Um, and you know, I've bought a license to Longtail Pro and I've used others before them and all the free ones. Um, and we actually think that it does more harm for your business generally than it does good. Um, and as we've consulted with people building their niche sites, uh, we want to show you some examples of why. Yep. So we've, I mean, we've consulted with a lot of people and I would say that the number one thing that I notice that comes in all the time is everybody wants to have confidence that they have a good idea. Yep. So they're spending all this money on a keyword tool. And after doing lots and lots of research, they're no more confident than they were before. And then they still come to us for reassurance. Yeah. And it leads them to bad results. We've seen Absolutely. some bad decisions where people like based a whole website on a keyword that was a bad idea. And they're like, but the numbers looked great in this keyword tool. So an example we saw from a client or oh, whatever, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, was a perfect example of this. Um, he was, uh, he searched for the keyword best, best jet skis, wasn't yeah, best it? best jet ski. And he said, ah, I was really excited about this site, but I'm not going to do it now because I looked it up in the, in the keyword tool and it only gets a thousand searches a month. <laughs> No, <laughs> not true. On the entire internet. There's no way in the whole, on the whole planet that only a thousand people a month search best jet ski. Not a chance that that keyword is going to get tons of traffic if you were to rank for that. There's no way that's correct. And, and all the time I've done this, you know, I'll look it up in the tool. And then, you know, we have a network of sites and so we can actually mm -hmm. test it. Yeah. And so I'll, I'll do a keyword that I know I rank number one for, and I know how much traffic we get and I'll search it on the tool and it'll be like, Oh, huh? No, not even close. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> not, not even apparently close. everybody on the entire internet searching for that keyword is coming to your site, reading your article. Not only that, but four times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so here's the problem when it's somebody is recommending a keyword, well, I'm sure there are some good, good keyword tools out there. I'm not saying there aren't. I'm just saying my personal experience, our experience, building a network of sites and working with others is it is going to waste your money and lead you to terrible business decisions. So we want to show you a better way um, to do it. The reason that that, that that market is out there is because they want you to pay money to fix your problem, and you can't. You need to do a little work but as we'll show you, it's really not that hard to do. Speaking of bad business decisions, uh, the number one bad business decision that people make is spending money on something that doesn't have a return on investment. Mm -hmm. How much money does a keyword tool cost? They're I mean, expensive. We, we just checked it was 70 bucks a month. A month. Yeah, that's you a know? lot of money. And Unless the keyword tool is going to earn you more than $70 a month, which if it does what people think it does it, it, the value oh, totally there is, is totally sure. there yep but but just from what we've seen is that it just doesn't add anywhere near that much value and the reason they're being recommended so often is because they have high affiliate commissions <laughs> 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 all right so let's talk about two ways to do it uh f two that we've found to work right like we're not saying these are the only ways to do it there are tons of different ways to do keyword research but this is just what's worked best for us um first is if you're looking for a keyword to, to base a whole website around, like you're just getting started, then I would definitely go, just don't even worry about going to the website. Just go to, um, just go to Google and type in niche site ideas. And you're looking for an article on incomeschool.com. It's just called 50 niche site ideas ripe for the taking. And the article like, does your keyword research for you if you're looking for a new site. Mm -hmm. um, and basically what it is is we have a network of websites. We just can't take all the ideas we, we that, that come up and, and go after all of them. So every time we have an idea, we add it to this list. We've been maintaining this article for like two years, yeah. and we're constantly adding new ideas to it. So like this one, 
Uh, I had an idea back in 2014 to start a boat buyer's guide, a website that just teaches you how to buy a boat if you know nothing about boats. Well, we actually followed through with that idea, and that website is for sale right now for $85,000 um, because I actually followed through. I wrote 30 articles using these keyword techniques that we're going to show you, and it actually worked. Uh, or, you know, a 4K movie review uh, site, like people are buying uh, 4K TVs, so go watch movies and say, you know, which one has the best 4K to show off your TV, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, we, have, we have tons of ideas on here. Um, you know, concealed carry, this is a killer keyword if you're into guns. Um, th this is a great keyword. Um, you know, how to build a tiny home or like a backyard office, yep. um, you know, sporting gear for dogs. These are all of them could be very good ideas. And we, you know, found your domain for you, everything. I uh, just have to follow through. Yep. OK, then the other idea, this is the one that we use more than anything else. So let's say we're making a new website. What's our topic? Um, facial trimmers for guys. Sure. So we're going to, you know, maybe we're going to make a website called uh, um, handsomemanscaping.com, right? <laughs> and so we're going to talk about just, you know, shaving oils and all that kind of stuff, how to be a, do some manscaping. And, uh, and as part of that, we're going to be recommending, you know, like, like trimmers, like beard trimmers, yeah. right? Okay. So that's our site. So we haven't done any of this. This is off the cuff. Um, so now we need to find those profitable keywords. If I just uh, write an article called Best Beard Trimmers, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to rank. I'm nope. a brand new website. Google is not going to trust me. Lots of people have about written about this before. I need to find a niche, a niche of a niche. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to type in Google. You can't see my, my screen because that's fun <laughs> the functionality is broken today. Sorry. Uh, beard trimmer i'm typing in google and then i make a space and the letter a and let's see what it has go for beard, it beard trimmer amazon beard trimmer attachments beard trimmer and shaver beard trimmer apron ding beard ding apron yeah I, that's a total winner to me like there are not gonna be a ton of articles of people that are writing uh you know reviews of aprons for beard trimmers right like this isn't a big <laughs> keyword um and frankly this probably isn't gonna earn you a ton of money but it's something that can get you ranked get your first dollar online i think when you start a new niche site you should get a check from amazon your third month um and then you know it really ramps up from there um but uh but but this is it like uh, mm -hmm. this is a tiny little keyword uh, so we're using the the Google search suggestion. We're typing in part of the keyword and then space the letter A, and we just see what it, those yeah. little search suggestions are. Then we go to beard trimmer space B, um, beard trimmer space C, and then we just go through the alphabet and we find tons of things. I like that. Beard trimmer carry on. Which Ooh, beard yeah. trimmers are safe to take on an airplane that yes. you can actually get through security with? Excellent. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, and and look at these the articles that uh, that are here, stink. You know, it's like yeah, a they're, Quora they're result. All, yeah, Quora, uh, Yahoo, Quest answers. It's terrible. Those are yeah. if you had a good article like you know, you know, a, a good article like fifteen beard trimmers that you can take on an airplane. Yep. Ta da! You You're could right totally rank for that. And so we're literally doing this on the fly. It's really easy to find keywords when you're just using the Google search suggestions and then when you, and then do the search and then see if it's something good. So we did the search. How do we know if this is a real competitive keyword or not? What are some things that we saw in this listing that we said, that's a winner? Um, like we've learned to do that, but, right, but how right. do we know that it's not well, too competitive? So, so one of the things that I'm looking at are, you know, what, what's the authority of the, of the search results, right? So our first result here for beard trimmer carry on is the TSA. Okay, mm -hmm. they are an authority on here. They're going to rank number one. Yep. But number two, three, and four are all, like we said, Quora or Yahoo answer type sites. I mean, there's no authority there. It's it's a forum type situ you know, site. So for I mean, for you to show up there, you're gonna be you're gonna have a lot more keyword density in your article than Yahoo does here. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna get more authority on your site than Yahoo Answers does. 
Um, several down below it, you know, travel tips, tip advisor, flyer talk. I mean, these are sites that are not, again, they're not focused on the shaving niche, on the trimmer niche or anything like that. So I, I guess I'm just looking at the authority of the sites, um, the information that's available through these types of sites. Um, it's just not going to be the kind of detail. It's not going to be thought out and researched the way that yours is. Yeah, I, I look at the same kind of thing. A couple other things that I consider as well is the length of the article. If you're seeing like thousand word articles rank, that's a big opportunity. I'm going to go write For a sure. meaty 2,500 word article and they stand a very good chance of ranking. Um, and then also things like, you know, the number one result is TSA. That's going to be hard to beat. It's a .gov website. It's obviously very authoritative, but the, the specific page on the TSA that we're linked to here is just my TSA home airport, homeland security, right? It, this is not about beard trimmers. I'm sure it has the information on that website somewhere, but it, it, it's not about beard trimmers. And it's not going to answer your question. If you're asking which beard trimmers can I take on an airplane? Right. So we have a very good chance promise you if we could we could rank number one for this uh in very short order mm -hmm. and this is probably a pretty darn good keyword you know a beard trimmer is expensive yeah. you know a cheap one is probably around 40 bucks an expensive one could be 200 mm -hmm. uh, so this fits in the the price point that we try to try to hit with our um with our niche sites and doesn't look too hard to do absolutely so that's why we don't use keyword research tools now now to yeah. be fair we don't know exactly how many people are searching beard trimmer carry-on. Good point. But let me tell you what, neither do any of the keyword tools. That's they true. tell That's you that they do. Point. They they act like they do. <laughs> they don't. We have seen it over and over again. They are wrong. I I I don't remember a time where I saw it was like, yeah, you nailed it. It's never <laughs> right. It's never right. Uh, yeah, it's never right. And so that's a very good point. And the other thing is, why would Google put these search suggestions? When I type beard trimmer space C, which is how we got to this keyword, mm -hmm. why would Google give us a random search that nobody ever types? No, it's it a doesn't. search that the people are typing. The whole purpose of search suggestions is it's going to save you the time of finishing out the rest of it. Right. So it's picking the most popular searches mm -hmm. right there. Um, it, this has been such a helpful way for me to find um, keywords that actually work. There have been very few times that it didn't work for me, like where I actually ranked and it was like, ooh, that, great, I get 10 <laughs> people coming to the website, you know? That's right. Like, it's just, it's always worked for me. Um, and, you know, you got to exercise a little bit of common sense. Um, but but if you're adding just a little bit of common sense and just, um, and, and you're using uh, the search suggestions, that's been our most reliable way to, to find it. So be sure to check out incomeschool.com. Um, once you're ready to do it, you can actually do a niche site consultation with us, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't really see any other, um, you know, successful internet marketers that are offering something like this. Uh, but this is like our personal time. This isn't like outsourced to India. Nope. This is like us. Like you fill out a survey. You tell us what kind of website you're thinking about starting. Just kind of the topics, kind of what expertise, things that you know. Um, fill out that survey. You email it to us. And we sit here in front of these microphones right here mm -hmm. um, and we'll record a you know, 10, 15 minute audio uh, talking through the idea. We'll do some research for you and find if it's going to be a successful one or not. And people make mistakes all the time that we're able to save them uh, years of work because, um, you know, the, the idea just wasn't quite there for the website. Um, so it's there. It's a niche site consultation available on incomeschool.com, and they're really, really reasonably priced. So something to check out as well. Thanks, everybody, for checking out our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you later.